Hey guys, Frank from uh, Adventures Outdoors and Camping Life. Um, we're here camping at Porter's Lake. It's a little bit cool. Um, first part of June, first of June actually. And um, so today we're going to make uh, something really easy. And this is something that you know you really should have in your repertoire, I think, personally, especially if you've got company or kids. And this is easy because you can put it all in one pot and let her go. Um, we're going to do a Dutch oven turkey today. Roast turkey with vegetables and all the trimmings. So um, stay tuned, it uh, should be good. I'm gonna peel some potatoes and once we get this all prepared here, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it in a pot and let her go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, I'm gonna use a onion and apples and we're gonna build a little layer up on the bottom here just so that the turkey breast itself isn't touching directly into the pot. And of course, I mean onions, everything goes good with an onion. So basically what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna quarter this up. So, take the seeds out of the apple. So, all we're doing right now is just building up a little base. So that the turkey itself doesn't rest completely onto the bottom. And then, let's see, let's see here. That looks pretty good. And then we take our turkey breast. I'm gonna salt and pepper this guy. But basically, it's gonna lay right on top there. I'm gonna just stick that right there for now, like that. And let me get my spices, wash my hands, and then we'll go through from there. All right, so uh, we salt. I salt and peppered the the turkey, and uh, I didn't really have much in the way of spice, so uh, uh, I didn't think about using Connell's spice because that would probably would have been nice. But anyway, I used uh, the uh, barbecue chicken spice on the turkey, so that's all right. So the turkey's there. Remember, we're gonna slow cook this, right? So we want this to be a couple of hours, uh, you know, slow cooking. So we're just gonna put potatoes in around here no big deal and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a bit of chicken stock so this is the beef is or chicken broth rather so just going to use a little bit of chicken broth um, you can use anything in here I mean let's face it now don't pour it over the turkey because then you you know wash away all the all the uh, spice but I'm gonna put a little bit in 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 here that's gonna make it nice and moist and keep it really nice and moist so uh, we're all set to go here I think the coals are getting uh, getting going so this is looking pretty good I'd say at some point I'm probably going to have to add some coals as well. Um, 
you know, because I want to I want to slow cook this. I'm hoping like to do this over two hours. I think this would be really good. And um, so let's give it a go and see what happens here. I want a fair bit of heat coming from the lid, so I'm going to put coals on top here. Now I also have a digital thermometer and I'm going to put the digital thermometer on this, on the turkey, uh, to make sure that it's completely done. And uh, But I'll wait and we'll do that after. I'm just gonna put that arrangement like that. Oh, turn this, I guess. Here we go. Perfect. So some heat from the top and some heat from the bottom. All right, so the Dutch oven is on, turkey's cooking. Now we can get back to doing what camping is really all about, and that is drinking beer. So now for the next couple hours, I'll let that go. I'll check the coals in an hour. If I need more coals, I'll put some on. Um, usually those coals, I think they last somewhere around you know, two hours. So probably in an hour, I'll start putting some new ones on there to get them started. But that's the beauty of the Dutch oven. You throw everything in one pot, you've got one big, one beautiful meal, and you can do what camping is meant to do, right here. What are you doing, Papa? Well, I'm gonna put more coals on here because it's starting to get thin now, after an hour. One of the things is the, the ash here, it really acts as an insulator, so, um, you want to get some of the ash off there if you can too, right? Um, but I'm going to fire up new coals. Let's see what happens here. Oops. Alright, let's just see how this is going here. Oh, look at that, folks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, slow cooking. Beautiful. So I made uh, gravy, turkey gravy from scratch. Well, I tore open the package and threw the powdered mix into water and then stirred it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some of the juices from the from the from the uh, Dutch oven to this, but. You can't have turkey and potatoes and carrots and fixins unless you're gonna have gravy. That would be just a travesty. My God, I couldn't imagine. And there's one other thing that goes with it, and that would be beer. Beer goes with the turkey as well. So yeah, gravy's almost ready. We're gonna check the turkey now in a sec. All right, so turkey's been on now for just over two hours. And uh, how do we judge it by beer? Let's have a look, ready? It smells unbelievable. Look at that. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm gonna... How tender that is. Just stick this in. Oh hell yeah, that's more than cooked. We are good. All right.
Uh, I just want to get rid of this cold. Let's eat. Let's see if we can pluck out this bird. Uh, hang on. Just got to clean off my uh, barbecue tongs so that they're clean. Okay, so I guess uh, take this bird out. Check these taters. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. The day is done. Look at this, guys. This here, is, oh, it is just falling apart. Look at this turkey. Oh, look how moist that is. Yeah. Yes, indeed, this is going to be incredible. Look at that. It's too bad it was so cold here right now. But that's part of the adventure all right All right, Joanne. Look at this meal. So easy. Done in a slow cooker, or done in a Dutch oven. Slow cook. Let's put some gravy on that. There you go, baby. This is all Dutch oven. This is one pot meal. Well, two pots because of the gravy. <laughs> Dig in. Mama? All right, so I've tasted the vegetables. They're cooked to perfection. They're really, really soft. There's, oh, they're perfect. They're cooked to perfection. Now I'm gonna try the turkey. Oh my god, that's really, really moist. That's not dry at all. That's really yummy. I'm really liking this, this Dutch oven. Mmm. It's delicious, Papa. Good job. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Frank Zane. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want more great videos like that one, just click right here. Also, if you want more information, please head on over to my website. Thanks for watching.